Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, I'm doing a makeup routine just on all makeup under £15. So all this makeup I'll be showing today, so from Boots, Primark, any drugstore, you know, Home Bargains, B&M, all under £15. So really cheap, really affordable. And yeah, if you enjoy my video, please like and subscribe. And yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> So first off, I'm going to start with skincare. So I have a couple of options here. I'm going to be putting the pictures up of each product, the price and where I bought it from, right here on the screen. So if I'm off to the side a bit, it's so that I can fit it in. So yeah, my first one is Lacura Healthy Glow Acid Toner. So I picked this up in Aldi's. Again, I'll have the price on the screen while I do it. So yeah, I'm just going to start off putting this everywhere. So yeah, this is from Aldi's. I think it was only a couple pound. I'll have the price up again. But I really like this. My skin feels really nice when I use this. So yeah, I haven't tried it long enough to tell if it actually does something for my face. But at the minute, I mean, I like it. My face feels good after it. So I'll probably keep using this and in a further video, do a little update on what I think about it. Next thing I have it's this Nivea Rose Care, the two-in-one cleanser and toner. So even though this is meant to be a toner, I also use that as well, just to do that extra bit of cleaning on my face, get any dirt off that I have. And yeah, I'm just going to put this on. Just before I go putting that in, I'm going to clip my hair back, but it keeps getting in the way everywhere. So I think I picked these up in one below. Something like that, home bargains, a pound or something, just clips, just to put my sides back. So I'm just going to do that quick. So yeah, that's the Nivea Rose Care. I think I picked this up in home bargains. I know it's available in Boots and a couple of other places. Um... In Home Bargains, I'll put the price here, I think it's between two, three pound. From the actual store Nivea, I think it's a little bit more, an extra pound or two. But I just picked it up in Home Bargains and I like it. I've used this quite a bit, I think I've got half a bottle left. And I enjoy it, I mean my skin feels really good when I use this. I use this I think before bed at times and I use it for before my makeup as well. So yeah, that's really good. Next up, I'm going to use the... Dead Sea Collection Day Cream. So yeah, I'll put a picture and the price up again. I think this is a, a collection they've done with Home Bargains, I think. Um, I'll put the price here. But yeah, I've used this a while. I've got it a while back now. I've got the day cream and I've got the night cream. And I put this on every morning, every night. It lasts quite a while. You don't need a lot at all. But I'm just going to use this, moisturise my face up, and then we can get into the makeup. Yeah, that's the cream as you see. I only done a few little dots and I think that was still a bit much. It was still quite thick on my uh, on my face, but I really like this. I think people, if you're looking for a more affordable cream or a more affordable moisturizer, I really would suggest the Dead Sea Collection because it works great on my skin and I've been really liking it. So, and I've used this now for the past, I think year or so now. And yeah, it's been really good for my skin anyway. So, yeah, that's that. Now into the makeup. I picked up the PS Harmony Hydrating Priming Spray with Peach and Pink Guava Fragrance from Primark. So I picked this up, put the price in the picture there because I can't remember off the top of my head how much it was. But I really like this stuff. I've only used it, I think, a few times, like four or five times, but I really, really like this so far. And my makeup stays put. It says as a priming spray on the front, there but it also says on the back that it's also a setting spray but it says on the back it's a setting spray it says on the front it's a priming spray so I just use it for both it does the job for both so yeah just gonna use it quick. 
so while I'm letting that dry I'm just gonna go through my foundation and my prime um, concealer really quick so for my foundation I went into boots and I was trying to get my skin I don't really know how to wear it out. Um, I was trying to get my skin matched for the foundation and as you can tell they were really far from it this is so dark for my skin I did try to tan but I don't know I don't know if there was something wrong with my tanner or if it was just a certain one I used but it absolutely stunk I had to get it off I mean I've still got some left over on my hands but it's a complete mess so you'll have to just ignore the fact it don't match for my face but this is the number seven beautifully matte foundation SPF 25 and I have it in the shade cool vanilla so yeah I use that I think if I had it in my shade I think this foundation is really good and I think if anything I think this was the most expensive thing that I spent I'll put the price here apart from this and apart from my concealer that I also picked up from Boots they're both the most expensive within 13 to 15 pound for each one but yeah I like this it's a shame it's not in my shade but yeah I really complain with that and for my concealer I have the number seven hydroluminous dark circle concealer in the shade one just the normal shade one but yeah I really like this stuff I think I'll be picking this up a lot I think it was 13 pounds something from boots and yeah I mean it's cheap considering some concealers that I've looked at because you can pay stupid amounts of money for concealer that this does the same same job so yeah 13 pound I think for this concealer so now that my primer is dried I'm just gonna go in with my concealer and just do some under my eyes because as you can tell I have got really dark circles and dark bags under my eyes so I'm just gonna go under my eyes really quick and I'll be back so yeah I just go in under my eyes before I put foundation on just to give me that extra little bit of coverage as I do have quite naturally dark under eyes but I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender it's disgusting I know I need a new one I'll pick some more of these up but I think I got these in a pack of two from Primark and they're really soft to be honest like I when I seen them in the pack they were really cheap I've gone through a fair few beauty blenders and I haven't found really nice ones for cheap but the ones in Primark I think I think they're really good so I use this one for under my eyes I use this one to go over my foundation so I'm just gonna go in with this blend it all out So yeah, you can see it's giving me a little bit of coverage and obviously with my foundation on and another layer of concealer over the top. I mean, I think it's really good. I mean, you can, there's such a difference between what that looks like and what it looked like before. So I really like this concealer. I don't have a bad thing to say about it. So now onto the foundation. I've already gone through it. I'm just going to go put this everywhere. I'll probably have to bring it down my neck a little bit because I did have to wipe off what tanning stuff was on there. So it's not going to match. But I'm just going to go through, speed through it, and I'll be back. I'm also going to apply this with a brush. I think this was from Primark. Don't count me on it. I don't have a clue. I couldn't find it nowhere to put a picture and a price up. But I think it was only a pound, two pound most. So normally I do use my Beauty Blender to put in my foundation. But I found with this one especially, it goes on better with a brush. And then I'll go over with my Beauty Blender at the end and just blend it all in. So I'm just going to do a little quick time lapse and we're putting all this up. So yeah, that's the foundation, well one coat of it. I mean, on camera it don't look so bad but in person I get really bad redness on my cheeks so I don't think this one hides it. The best I'd say is more of a light to medium coverage so I'm just going to go in put another couple of blotches here and there just so that I can get the full full coverage that I preferably like to have. I'm just going to go in and do another quick little layer some bits here some bits there take it down my neck a bit on camera you can't really tell it's a different colour 
in person, it is so obvious. So I'm just going to bring it down my neck a little, do another little layer, and I'll be back with the next part. So I'd say with this foundation, I mean, it's not my favourite. I have used plenty of other cheap, affordable um, foundations, mainly Primark. I love their little five pound bottles. I'll try and find a picture and put it here, but for me, that one just has that extra bit of matte finish. I mean, it's not terrible. It's 15 pound. I can get the one from Primark for a five or so. Do I think there's probably better, cheaper ones? I do, I, there probably is. There's probably tons there. If anybody's got any good suggestions for any cheap budget makeup that they know is really good, any good foundation anyway from drugstore, let me know in the comments because I really want to try something different. For me, this is just a bit thick. And if it's not blended in properly, like it isn't by my neck. If it's not blended properly, it does leave quite thick brown lines and preferably that's not my favourite, but 15 pound, if it was in my shade, I don't think it'd be that bad, but it's not my favourite. So I'm just gonna go in with a beauty blender quick and just blend out all of that because you can't see on camera, but up close there's a few brush marks where the brush has been. And I just like to blend that all out, make it look nice and even. So now that my foundation's done, I'm just gonna go back in again with my concealer, do under my eyes, do under there. I have got a little bit of a cut under my nose, so I'm just gonna try and cover it in with this. So yeah, I'm just gonna put this everywhere quick. So yeah, if there's any of you out there who are dog people like me, or even a cat person, I have got videos of my cat who is just chilling behind the camera now, looking out the window. But as I mentioned in the intro, I have another channel for Mali. I'll be Belgian Malinois puppy. So if anyone's interested, I'll put a picture here of her channel. I'd appreciate if you go and have a little look. She's great. She's so cute, but you guys will love her. So yeah, if you're interested in that, go have a look. She's really funny. There's lots of training videos out there of her. So if that's something you're into or something you like, I'll leave a channel here somewhere for you to go and have a look. So I'm just going to go in again. I was using the wrong beauty blender. <laughs> Let's ignore that. But I'm going to go back in with this and just go around and clean up all this concealer. So I'd say the same with the concealer. It's not full coverage. It has brightened it up a little bit. But, you know, I, the concealer, I do really, really like. I know there's probably better ones out there again for cheaper. I think this was about £13 something. So... You know, there is cheaper ones, if any know, every, anyone knows any good drugstore concealers that might be cheaper than this maybe, or even a little bit more expensive, I don't really mind, but if anybody knows any good concealers for dark circles, because if you can tell, you can kind of still see the bags under my eyes, you can still see the darkness of them. I will try again, go through with another coat, just try and get rid of this, because I just, with a makeup look, I don't think that looks very good, so... I'm just gonna go and do another layer of this. So, as I put that on, I am now out of concealer. You can see in the middle, hasn't got much. I mean, for how much this was, I haven't used it really that much and it's already out. Like, I think you literally get about that much of product inside, which is, which is a shame really because you pay 13 pound for it and you don't really get that much so i'm actually really gutted that that is empty but i probably will go pick up another one or i might try a different concealer in my next video so if anybody's got any good suggestions let me know down below and i can go pick it up so yeah now i'm just going to go back in with this try again another coat this side i'm going to try put it in with my finger because i know sometimes Using the beauty blender, it can pick up the product a bit too much. So maybe that could be my problem. So yeah, that's my concealer done. I mean, it's a little bit better now that I put two coats on, but I don't like the fact that I have to do two coats of foundation, two coats of concealer, because this is a lot of product on my face and I don't really like that. I think it's starting to look a bit cakey. So yeah, again, no any good concealers, no any good foundations, let me know so I can go pick it up for the next video. Next, I have the Revolution Bacon Blot Powder. I'll put it here with a price. As you can see, I've already hit pan. I don't mind this. 
but it's not the best. Um, I've seen some people, like their makeup will look completely different the second they put powder on. Mine doesn't. I guess it does mattify it a little bit because, it, you know, it mattifies it. But I don't find that it gives me much, I don't know, it just, I've seen people use the powders and it looks really good under the eyes. They don't crease, the eyelids don't crease or so anything else, but mine does. So if anybody knows a good powder, please let me know down below because it's not my favourite, but it'll do. So I'm just going to go in with this little powder brush. I can't remember where I picked this up from, but I know it was only like 70 or pence. Again, cheap. So I'm just going to go in with this, do it under my eyes, do it a little bit everywhere else, and I'll just time lapse that really quick. So now that I'm all powdered up, again, not my favourite. I mean, it, it looks more matte. I don't look so shiny. I'll give it that. But I want something that's not going to make my makeup crease every time I close my eyes, every time I blink. Because you can see here, it's already starting to crease. I've already put powder there and it's still creasing. So not my favourite, but for the price, I mean, I think this was a, how much was this? £3 was how much this was so you know for a cheap powder it does what it does need to do but so next up i have my ps bronze glow matte bronzing powder in the shade sunset so i picked this up um, i think about two months ago i haven't really used that much i mean it is probably a bit dark for me but because i have got dark foundation i just thought that would be all right kind of go with the foundation so i'm just going to go back in with this little fluffy powder brush. The only thing I'd say with these little cheap brushes, they're not bad at all, but the hairs always come loose. Oh, ignore the bad tan. I did try wiping it off, but for some reason it stuck to my hand. And as you can see, it's patchy as hell. So ignore that. But yeah, I picked this up in Primark. I know a lot of people on YouTube were talking about this when they were talking about drugstore makeup, so. I thought I'd pick it up, give it a go. I like it, but I think it's a bit too warm for my skin, a bit too orange for what I like. When I was getting my makeup out, I found I found this palette. It is so dirty. I think this is probably really old. So I wouldn't shouldn't really use this on my face, but I'm going to anyway, just because that is a bit too dark to use as a contour. For a bronzer, it's not bad at all. I mean it is a bronzer, so I think I'll use that on top, but I've used pretty much most of this. I've hit pan on a lot of them. But I think I'm just going to go in down here with these two shades. Contour, there's also a little blush, which I didn't realise was in there too. So I'm just going to go in, contour really quick, and yeah. So I think this one's a bit too dark as well. And that's what I mean with these brushes, they kind of just put the product on there. And they just don't blend, it's stuck on my face, so that palette, no go. I think I picked it up in Home Bargains when I watched somebody do just a drugstore makeup and I thought I'd give it a try. So I picked that up, I think it was like £2 or £1.50 for that palette. Not a fan on the contour to be honest because it is so dark and I'm going to have to sit here for ages now trying to blend that out. I can fix it later on with translucent powder but I don't know, I'm not a fan. So if anybody knows of any good contour palettes, I mean I'm probably going to say this about every single thing. So if anybody has any tips any good products for me to use in another video, maybe try out the higher end makeup store or anything that you, you guys want me to do. So just let me know, foundation, concealer, powders, palettes, contour, highlighter, all of it, because I'm probably going to say every product. Let me know in the comments and I'll go and buy it and I can have a look. So yeah, I think, I, I think that that's the best I'm going to do 
with that side. So I'm just gonna go around, try and do it again, probably try and do it better on this side, just so I can hide it. And yeah, I'll be back. And just so you know, this brush is terrible. It is so soft. It's just not doing nothing. This is sticking into my foundation and I can just feel it sticking even though I've already powdered over the top of it. It's not the best brush to be honest. I think I'm gonna try and use a different one. So when I get to the next stop, I'm gonna be showing you where I got this brush from because it was part of something. But I'm just gonna use this little brush. I'll tell you what it is in the next part. But yeah, I'm just gonna go in with this. It's So I think that's a little bit better. I think I just needed to put not so much on and work it. It's not perfect at all, but I can go clean it up with some powder at the end. But for now, that's just kind of have to do. But I don't know, this palette, not worth it at all. Might as well just put in that few, few extra pound and get something a bit better, because I know there's better out there. So yeah, I've just gone in around on camera, don't look so bad, but when I look in the mirror, it is terrible so I know I can clean it up later on and just so you guys can see if I come close up you can see where it's creasing already under my eyes now I've seen on YouTube that powders are meant to set your eyes so they don't crease and a lot of people you know I watch their videos they don't crease at all I've been doing this for not even half an hour and my eyes are already creasing so I don't really like that setting powder at all, but I know I'm not using a contour brush, I know, but I think this was meant to be a contour brush because it is angled, but I ended up using this for a foundation brush. I am going to pick up some more brushes for my next video, I'm thinking of doing maybe, I don't know, a Poundland only makeup, a face full of Poundland makeup and then a face full of Primark makeup, you know, the budget versus the high high-end makeup as well so if that's something you would like to see make sure you let me know in the comments and give the video a like so I know what to make in my videos but yeah I'm just gonna go in contour my nose and when I've done that I'm just gonna go over the top add a bit more bronze probably a terrible idea but we're gonna do it anyway so I'm gonna go and do this quick and I'll be back when it's all on. I probably would have been better off using this to begin with but I thought I'd give that a try, I found it after like god knows how long, so yeah. So yeah that's done, I've done a bit too much here and there, but it's fine, I'm gonna go over it. I'm gonna beat blender, just like this, try and tone it down a little bit, and I'm sure I can go in with some clear powder. Go in with some clear powder, clean that up, on camera don't look so bad, so I don't. So next step. Even though this palette is terrible, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go with this blush because I think it's the only blush I have. Yeah, I'm not really much of a blush person. I don't really use it often, but I don't really wear makeup often either. So I'm just going to go in with this. If it doesn't show up the best, I'll compromise. I'll probably put a bit of pink already eyeshadow there. I've done it in the past and it worked all right. So I'll give this a little try, see how it turns out. And yeah, let's give it a go. It's not picking up on camera, but I don't like it. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of pink eyeshadow. I might as well do I might as well use that on the other side just because I have used it on that side. But it's just a bit too pinky for me. And yeah, it's not my favourite. You can't really see it on the camera, but in person it's very pinky and it's very shimmery and I don't really like a shimmery brush normally. I'll just go in with like a pink, one of these pinks out of this palette, which I'll get into later on. So yes, blush, as you can see when I sit back a little bit, I don't like it. I don't like blush. So I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender, blend that out a little bit because I don't like how it looks. Any good blushes, let me know below. Like I said, I'm probably going to say that about every product that I use. So coming up to Christmas, which I can't wait for, everybody's bringing up the advent calendar videos. I love watching those. One of my favorite videos ever to watch. I know YouTuber Sophie Louise, she does them every year and I think they're great. So I might try and just do a range of 
cheap ones to a bit more expensive ones. I mean, I'm not going to go too extreme and buy like the £145 ones that I've seen just because I don't wear makeup that often. So, unless I get into it, I think I'm just going to do whatever ones I can find. So, next up, I got eyebrows. I had a couple of options. I picked up a couple of really the cheapest ones I could find, really. Um, first off was this W7 Twist and Shape. So, I picked this up in B&M just because I wanted to see what it was like. I didn't really have a pencil. So it comes with a spoolie on the end and the pencil on the other. Now the only thing is with this, it is so thick. And now it's all right to fill it in, but if you really want those little hairs, you know, filled in, not the best. I don't think you should use that. For my other option, I obviously, Primark, picked up the PS Brow sketch brown in the shade brown. I'll put the picture there, the price as well. I think these are a pound or a pound fifty. So I'll make sure I put the photo here somewhere for you to have a look. But yeah, same thing with this. Comes with a spoolie like that. Nice little spoolie. And a much more thinner pencil. Like you can hardly see it. So I'm just going to go in and use this. I have forgot to put highlighter on. I'll get to that in the next stop. But I'm just going to fast forward. I'm doing a little time lapse and we're doing my brows because it takes me forever. They still look like shit, but we're going to do it anyway, so. So yeah, that's the eyebrows done. The pencil is good, I'm not going to lie, especially for how cheap they actually are. Yeah, the pencil's not bad at all. I think this is more of a fact that I am terrible at doing eyebrows, so don't come for me. I can't do them. Normal, never mind evil. But we're just going to deal with it. So yeah, I did forget to do highlighter. Now, I have tried this brush in the past, a highlighting brush, but it is terrible, I'm not going to use it. So again, I'm just going to have to go in with this little brush to do highlighter. So for highlighters, I've got a few options. Now, when I went and picked up my foundation and my concealer from Boots, they had a bit of an offer on, um, and I got this number seven palette and two brushes. And I got them for free. Now, I thought this palette was gonna be worth about 10, 15 pounds. So I'll put the price here on how much this palette is on its own, just in case the offer is not on. Now I know I said this makeup was gonna be under 15 pound, but I was not expecting how much this palette actually was. I think it was 35 pound that you pay for. For this on your own but if the offer is still on i think you spend something like 20 to 30 pound or something like some stupid like that in boots on number seven products obviously um and you get a free palette i'm not sure if that offer is still on so if it's not a bit of a pricey palette but it comes with six eyeshadows two highlighters so yeah comes with six eyeshadows and yeah I think those two are the highlighters and these down the side are all the eyeshadows. The highlighters for me, I think I could probably get away with a top on, the pink one here, but I think these are a bit too dark for my skin. I quite like the white look. Now also on this one, I have some highlighter left in here. I'll give it a quick swatch. Now I don't know, you can only just see it on my hand. It is quite nice, but I think it's one of them ones that leave a bit of a cast on when you apply it. It is quite pretty, it's quite subtle to look at in a way, so I might give this one a try. But I also have the PS highlighter in the shade Pearl. Again, the top shade isn't too bad, but it goes to like a goldy colour at the bottom. And I think for warmer toned skin, I think this would be great. I would do actually really like the highlighter, but it's just a bit too dark for me. Same with the number seven palette. They are really good highlighters, but for my skin, they don't work really well. So I'm just going to go in with this one, give it a little go, and slap this on. I think I'm just going to use this brush. Oh. I'm just going to go with my number 7 brush and go over that quick. 
So that's highlighter done. I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but as you can see, it's definitely there. And I quite like this, it's actually quite pretty, so it kind of makes up for the fact that the contour and the blush wasn't the best. But the highlighter, I really like it. I like my highlighter to be seen. You know, just to be a bit, a bit extra. In person, when I'm looking at it in the mirror, which is why I keep looking over there, it is quite blocky, so I think you'd have to blend that in quite a bit. I'd probably go in my beauty blender again and just blend it all in. But apart from that, I really like it. It's not that bad. I like the colour of it anyway. I quite like the look of the wet look when you do a highlight. The, the, you know, if anyone knows what I'm talking about, I'm probably talking absolute rubbish. I swear I heard somebody describe a certain highlighter as a bit of a wet look and I loved how it looks so any good highlighters again in the comments below I'll probably stop saying that now you probably get the gist I want to know the best of everything so yeah so next up eyes obviously now I think a year or two ago my sister got me the the revolution cross so ultra eyeshadow 24 eyeshadow palette so I really like this, I mean I've used it quite a bit, probably not as much as what some people get it but yeah, I got this eyeshadow, it does come with all the shades with them, it comes with a sheet with all the shades as well so you know what's what but I don't keep that with it, I keep it in my makeup bag but I'm just going to go in using some of these shades, I don't really know what colour I want to go for, I'm not really somebody who goes for lots of colour. So I'm probably just going to do a nice little simple, you know, the brownie, bit of a smoky look, just to put it in a bit together. So I'm just going to go in with these two shades here and I'm just going to go doing that and fly through it until I get to the next part. So I wasn't expecting that colour to really have much pigment, but to be fair, it does. And I'm not sure if that's just because there's a bit of colour left over on my brush already or not but yeah I just doing this as my little base colour so yeah I'm just going to do that for a base colour just to get a little bit of something on there and yeah I think next I'm just going to go in with probably I was going to go with this colour but it's a bit more of like a, a mustardy type of colour so I'm just going to go straight in now straight in with the browns and a couple of these darker browns down here and just go adding that into my outer corners and yeah so that's my second shade on obviously i'm really messy at it i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say i'm gonna make up because i'm really not so i'm just giving it my best shot but yeah that's what it looks like so far that's just with two colors on so yeah now I know Sophie's done a couple of few collabs with Revolution, I know she's got eyeshadow palettes and all, she's got lipsticks and a few other things so if any of you guys have got any of her things and they're really good, for example lipstick, because I can't never ever find a good lipstick for me. So if any of you guys have tried any more of this stuff let me know what it's like and I might pick it up for another future video and maybe just doing a full face using everyone's collabs so I think that would be a fun video to do as well. So now I think I'm just going to go even darker in the outer parts and I'm probably going to use one of these two colours down at the bottom. So I'm just going to go in probably with this shade here. Just pat that in in the corner just to darken it up a little bit. So that's one corner done. As you can see I keep swapping in between the two because this one's clean. I use that just to clean up the edges a little bit and I use that one to pack the colour on. But yeah. I quite I really like the dark brown shades. I mean I don't if I ever wear eyeshadow, I'm not really someone who wears pink or green, blue, bright colours. I'm more for just a neutral, smoky eye type of look. And yeah. I'm not really bothered if it looks that messy when I put lashes on. It all comes together, so I'm not going to get too fussed. I'm just going to go in now and do the same on the other. So yeah, I've done that. But I still think I can go just the tiniest, tiniest bit darker still in the colour. So I'm just going to go 
in with the darkest colour again, just on the outer parts. Just to really deepen up. I know it probably looks messy and I know it don't look great, but we don't care. So I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm also going to bring this down on my lower lash line, but I'm just going to wait to put the darkest colour on first and I'll take the darkest colour underneath as well. I don't know if you can see as I'm going more and more it's starting to crease a lot more as well so this powder I don't really think is very good for setting it and not making it crease. Again just going to go in and put this under my other lash line just do it by you. So now that I brought that down on my under eyes I'm just going to go in with this shade here and I'm just going to put this on my inner corners. But yeah, that's that. You can see it's a really, really pretty shade. I probably, half the time, I forgot to mention as well. I do try to just use this as a highlighter just because it does pop a little bit more. But for the inner corners, I really like that. So I'm now just going to go in probably with this gold shade in the middle here on my finger. And I'm just going to put this down the centre of my lash. So yeah, I put that on my lash. Like, I think this palette is really affordable as well. I'll put the price here. I mean... A lot of collabs with certain YouTubers, they are quite expensive, but I find that Sophie's um, collab with Revolution is fairly cheap. But I'm just going to go in with a brush now, blend in that gold with the brown, just so there's no harsh lines between them both. Just going to go blend them in really quick. So yeah, now on to lashes. Now, I don't like wearing fake lashes simply because I can't put them on and they're hanging off. They're everywhere, they're flapping everywhere. I mean, I am going to try and pick up if I can find it as well. The magnetic ones, so I can give those a try. Because I do like how the fake lashes look, but I just can't do them. I am terrible. I've tried using the proper tool. I mean, I picked this up not long ago to try and put lashes on the other week. Disaster. They stuck on my fingers. I hated it. So I'm just going to use mascara, and this is... The False Lash Queen Dramatic Fullness Volume Length. And this was in Primark. I can't remember the price for this. If I can find it, I'll put the price here. But it was literally a couple of pounds. So, And I like this. I quite like my lashes to be out there. I like to be a bit extra when it comes to lashes. For me, lashes pulls it all together. If I could only have one bit of makeup, it'd be mascara. Go and put this on really quick and I'll be back because I don't want to bore you with it all. So as you can tell the difference, this mascara is great. Now, a lot of people aren't going to like this just because it can get quite clumpy and it can be quite messy, but you know, some people do like the clumpy look on eyelashes. Personally, I like it. It makes my lashes look a lot more oof there. But yeah, I really like it anyway. I look, there's such a difference between them both. Like, if I cover that, you know, it's such a difference. So I'm just going to quickly go and do it the other way. So yeah, that's the lashes done. I really like this. Um, obviously, if you know any better ones or there's suggestions like maybe you really like to use or any from Primark, any from anywhere, let me know and I can have a look into it. But I really like this. I know for a fact that when this is gone, I'll probably pick up another one. Yeah. That's the lashes done. Now on to the lips, finally. Um, now, I picked up a couple of the lip liner pencils and I watched one of Sophie's um, YouTube videos not long ago. Well, I think it was a while ago now, actually. And she picked up a set from Primark called the Perfect Pout Lip Gloss Balm. And it came with a lipstick and it came with a clear balm. It is clear. It's just obviously the colours picked up off sponge and it's gone into the lip gloss a little bit which is a bit annoying but it's gonna happen i don't have a clue what shade i bought i really don't but i thought i picked up the same as sophie i didn't it is way too dark i don't really like too much of a dark lip but for lip liners i also picked up a two of these and they're only a pound i still got the label on one of them and i got it in the shade toast and i got it in the shade toffee which was what Sophie was using in a video. Now, I broke my toffee pencil. Well, not broke it, but I snapped it. And I'm gonna sharpen that another time. I can't really be bothered to know it now, to be honest. But yeah, I'm probably gonna go in with a toast, do a little bit of a lip line, 
I'm not sure if I'm going to use that, so I will, I won't, but just so you know what colour it is and what the shade is like, I'll just do a little swatch. So yeah, that's the colour of it. It's not too bad, it's not too dark. I think I'm just not used to seeing myself with lipstick on, I don't wear it that often. But before I did that, I picked up a, a PS Lip Plumper Sheer Colour with Maximum Effect. And I just picked up this, I think it was about £3 for that. I'm just going to put this on really quick and give it a minute or two to do its job. I'm just going to go in with the shade Toast lip line. Now I've seen people, you know, lip line their lips, smudge it in a bit, put a bit of clear gloss on and that's what they do. So I think I'm going to do the same. And then with the sheer gloss that came with the lip balm, with the lipstick balm thing. Yeah, it came with it. I'm just going to slap this on and yeah. So yeah, that's all I really do for lips. I don't do too much, I don't go too into it, just because I'm not so big on it. But finally then, as I was saying at the beginning, it says it's a priming spray, but it also says on the back it's a setting spray. So I use it for both. So I'm just gonna go give myself a little spray. Now, oh, this smells so good. I really like this. I'll be picking this up a lot. I'm sure there was a load of different other flavors as well, so. Yeah, I really suggest this. Really cheap on Primark as well. Three quid, I think it was, something like that. But, so yeah, this is my finished look using only products all under £15. Yeah, I don't think it came out too bad. So, you know, there were certain things I don't think I will use again and I'll probably pick up some different stuff. Like I said, any suggestions for any type of the makeup that I've used, let me know below. I'll make sure I get into those. And look out for my next video. I'm going to do a few fun ones. So make sure you like hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I post a video. And yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.